Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's review time. And today we're going to be looking at the mystery subscription figure for the Transformer subscription service 4.0. And that figure is. Blue Streak! Yes, I know that was a lousy drum roll, but hey, got to give it a shot, huh? So, yep, yeah, Blue Street. So, our mystery figure for the subscription service 4.0 is finally here. It's Blue Streak in his Diaclone colors, and, you know, to be honest, this one kind of has me a little let down. So, but it's not a bad figure. I just had my hopes on other things, so let's take a look at him. Um, as you can see, he is using his diaclone colors, and for the most part, it's alright. And I got the uh, Combiner Wars weapons on here already, so we'll take these off. You got your hand foot gun, and the uh, shotgun. And we'll get a look at him in its normal state. So, yeah, once again, it's using the Streetwise slash Prowl mold. And since it's, you know, Blue Streak was known for being a repaint of Prowl, this makes sense. Uh, but, you know, it's not the one I was hoping for, and there are flaws here that are kind of annoying like as you can see the unpainted plastic is there in white wish it was blue like the rest of him because that would have gone a lot better I mean I know they did it for robot mode but it really hurt the vehicle because that white stripe in the middle is not helping much um, paint is pretty good. It's okay. You know, you got a nice silver hood here with a big old Autobot tampograph. But it seems like the silver went on a little thick in places, like on that headlight. Which is a shame, but, uh, you know, it works. You got some lights at the front and done in yellow. Got a black uh, bumper. Looks pretty good from the top side or front side. You have a little turbo tampograph, and on this side, I even picked out the uh, gas cap in silver, which is good. Got the back window, got the windows going all the way to the roof. Not a bad touch, but the back has nothing. Which is strange because Funpub usually will pick out tail lights for you. And yeah, they picked out the light bar in silver. Little, uh, the light bar on the uh, non police vehicles kind of bugs me still, but you know, at least it's not red, you know, so looks like it could be something else. Yeah, I think the main gripe is that white portion here, and, which is a shame, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, bring in smoke screen and prowl. You know, get the trio out. And yeah, they do look good together. It's nice to have a full set. And it is always nice to have a full set of characters when they're like this. It's like having the Seekers, you know. But, uh, yeah. For another comparison, I don't have G1 Blue Streak, but I do have uh, Universe 2.0 Silver Streak who was using the more commonly seen G1 colors 
with the silver and uh, black. And to bring that point on, we'll bring in Masterpiece Streak. Who, um, again, that's the more standard colors as it was seen on the G1 toy. Um, blue Streak here uses the Diaclone colors, which actually was blue. And there is a Masterpiece version of uh, Streak in that blue color. I just don't have it, so. Yeah, I mean, there is a difference between him and past incarnations, but... Still, it's nice to have them. Anyway, let's get Blue Streak here in robot mode and see how he looks there. Okay, so getting Blue Streak in robot mode, it's obvious where all the paint went. Because this is a beautiful robot mode, I'll admit it. I am a fan of this. Uh, <laughs> I kind of wish the uh, vehicle mode didn't sacrifice so much for this, but it is still a gorgeous robot mode. So let's get a little closer look at that head and uh, chest. Well done. Um, obviously the head is more the Diaclone style, so he's got yellow eyes. And uh, the rest of his head kind of reminds me of Smokescreen with the uh, yellow crest and blue head. But uh, yeah, it's a real nice one. Now you can see the uh, white parts on the arms, which were those annoying streaks on the uh, vehicle mode, do help break up the blue for the arms, which is nice. Uh, I I can dig that. I just wish the um, vehicle mode didn't sacrifice so much to get that look. The chest detail is amazing. You got those reds, those whites, that silver in the middle. And it really does pop and I like how they painted the uh, waist a bit with the green to bring that out. I mean this looks good. Forearms are painted with a little bit of black, which is done nicely. Then you get to the legs, which look like tampo detailing. Got a little purple, a little yellow, and the feet look like they're tail lights. Very well done. And that is excellent detail. So yeah, he looks real good in robot mode. And obviously this is the mode that uh, was intended to be displayed. <laughs> you know, just no way around that. Um, for articulation, you've got the standard ball jointed head. Got ball jointed shoulders, real nice. Bicep swivel, 90 degree at the knee. Um, wrists do go in and out, but they're strongly detented. And I am okay with that after seeing Scourge's floppy wrists. Um, you got waist swivel. And yeah, this one's a little loose. Um, not too loose, but a little bit. Um, got ball jointed hips. Thigh swivel. Hinged knee, just about 90, a little bit more. But all in all, really good posability. Now accessories, it's the standard set for the mold. You got the shotgun and you got the hand foot gun done up in gray. Looks nice. You know, it's the same gray that was used for the, the Thunder Mayhem hand, so it's not bad. Now I'm not going to get into uh, arm or leg mode until we get to the team for wreckage, which will be way, way later. But, uh, yeah, that, that's like end of the year kind of stuff. But, you know, for what it is, it's a good figure. And, hey, in the meantime, you might want to use them with Optimus or 
something like that. He'd probably be a better partner to uh, Mirage than Sunstraker. But uh, for comparisons, let's bring in the other two of this mold that, uh, well, of this particular with the head sculpt as it is. But you got the, the Datsun trio, you got smoke screen. As you can see, the blue really is a little different. It's a lighter blue on smoke screen. Blue streak has the darker, deeper blue, which looks good. And you also have prowl, because you gotta have prowl. But uh, looking at Blue Streak and Smokescreen, you can see what I mean about the head sculpts. Uh, like, well, the the head paint jobs uh, being very similar. Which, um, you know, if it was done up like the Silver Streak style, Prowl and this guy would look similar. So, eh, he never got his own look, I guess. So, which is a shame, but hey. It is what it is. But speaking of Silver Streak, uh, we'll bring in Universe 2.0 Silver Streak. Oh. Provided he can stand for me for a minute. And we'll also bring in Masterpiece Streak. And again. Diaclone colors are wildly different from the Takara or Hasbro um, blue streak colors. Uh, you can see a lack of red and gray or silver on uh, our blue streak. <laughs> so yeah, he is very different from what uh, we actually got for the character. And that's cool. I mean, that's cool. And it's nice that they stuck with the Blue Streak name for it. You know, Takara made a big deal about the Blue Blue Streak for Masterpiece. Nice of Fun Pub to do the same for uh, Combined Rewards uh, Blue Streak. <laughs> anyway, all in all, Robot Mode is great. Vehicle Mode kind of kills the toy for me, though. But uh, if you're going to display them in robot mode anyway, this guy's cool. So that'll wrap things up for Blue Streak. A good figure. Uh, I will give it that. It is a really good figure. Um, I just have a bit higher standards for the club. And the vehicle mode just didn't reach it. And that said, I am happy to have them in my collection. And I'll have to find a place for them soon. But in any case, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. So until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>